bread and my dad is going to be the chef. What is that? Two to one days. The first step is to add the sugar to the water. Give it a good stir to dissolve the sugar. The purpose of the sugar is that it feeds the yeast. So we have to first add the sugar so the yeast has food to be able to grow. Then stir in the yeast and until it dissolves slightly and then cover it with a plate and let it rise in a warm place. Add the salt to the flour and mix well. Now we make a well in the center of the flour and add the yeast mixture. Using your hands, carefully begin to combine the yeast with the flour. Add the oil, and then the warm water. Now the secret with bread making is to keep the flour damp. Your dough must never get dry. So it's better to have it too wet than too dry because you can always add more flour, but you can almost never save it if it's too dry. To add more water once your dough is too dry is just a nightmare. So rather keep it wet and if it's too wet, you can always add more flour. Now it's time to knead your dough. Knead it well and then once it's come together, tip it out the bowl. It's much easier to work on the flat surface. And using the palm of your hand, it's more like you're pushing the dough backwards and forwards. And I find it much easier to work with one hand than two hands because then only one hand is dirty and you can do things with your other hand. But it doesn't matter if you use both, you can use both as well. Once the dough comes together, you'll see it's about 10 minutes and then your dough should be, it's not as sticky anymore and it's just a nice, um, elastic, um, pliable, beautiful piece of dough. <laughs> Then dust your baking tray with a bit of flour and shape your dough into a loaf. You can actually shape it into absolutely anything and get completely creative with, with your dough. You can add toppings, you can, you can actually turn it into anything. But for today, we're just making a simple loaf of bread. And then we're going to take more flour and dust the top. And our last thing is to give it a few cuts with a sharp knife. Cover it with a cloth. And now we pop it in the warming drawer to rise and leave it there for at least half an hour and then we bake it. And once it's brown and beautiful, you have a loaf of bread and slice it, top it with butter, and enjoy. Mm. Very good. But most importantly, remember that Jesus said that we cannot live on bread alone. We need his word. So, yeah, we are not just a body that needs food. Inside us is our spirit that we need to feed. And that's why so many people are, are starving their spirits and we see so much depression and confusion and loneliness and all of this. We need to feed our spirit and we need to feed on God's word. So during this time, Make sure that you're not just feeding your body, but you need to spend time in the Word and feed your spirit.